Hello, Marvin Pierce, dog teacher. So we're going to talk a little bit about my philosophy on dog training. And I always, I mean, and I've forever felt that when you go to training on dogs, you've got to be consistent. If you don't have a consistency on a dog, it's whether you're teaching him to sit or lay down or come to you. People always want to add extra words. Uh, yesterday, day before, I had somebody here, their dog sat and stayed for a couple seconds. And they went back over there and they're like, good stay. I'm like, well, what exactly does that mean for the dog? You know, and the dog got up as soon as they said it. But I feel it's because we add words so much. If you're just consistent with what you say. Uh, I showed a person one time, I taught a dog to sit by saying banana. And I got him to sit quicker saying banana than the owners could by saying sit. And it's because they don't know. You know, they're not born understanding English or any language, but it's a matter if good things happen, whenever you say good, then the dog starts wanting to be good. For me, if I go, ah, the dog knows they're in trouble. If I say good, they know they're doing the right thing. And I teach them that. For me, all dogs that get here, as soon as they get here, I start handling them, I start teaching them right and wrong. And we try to keep the gray area out of them. And if you can do that, I mean, I think it just makes a better dog at the end. And the handlers, if the handlers learn to use simple words for simple things, then they all have a huge success with their dogs. But always, if you add a word, people tell the dogs to sit down. It's like, do you want them to sit or you want them to down? And when a dog jumps on people, people are like, get off. It's like, well, what do you want them to get off of? Do you want them not get on you? Me, I don't want them jumping on me, so I just make it no. Uh, if a dog jumps on me, it's no. A dog puts his teeth on me, it's no. A dog pees on my truck tires, it's no. Uh, if a dog tries to steal a sandwich out of my hand, it's no. If you make things simple for them and you teach them that that means they can never do it again, it goes away. But that's part of my philosophy, so we're going to stop here with that for a while. But go to Marvin Pierce Dog Teacher YouTube videos and check us out. Thanks a lot.